Welcome, it's me, your busted friend, here in the dirt. I, I started stepping on these fucking stickers and I went, nah, uh Not in my yard we don't, no, no. We like to walk barefoot here and we're not gonna play this sticker bullshit, right? So, I'm digging around, you know, I'm pulling the weeds, I'm fucking seeking out the stickers, right? And lo and behold, who do I see? Disco kitty in the barn window. Hello, how you doing? You keeping an eye on Wonder Man? Uh, he's got a bell. It's a multi-purpose bell, but a good one is um, it alerts the kitty cats. Over the years, a disco has kind of a, like learned to assert her dominance over Wonder Man. Like he's kind of scared of her. He knows he don't want to fuck with her, but. A couple months ago, uh, uh, some cute little young tomcat showed up in our barn and uh, decided to live there for a few weeks and I was excited. Oh my god. I was like, yes, I have a new son. Because you know, Wonder Man is my only son. <laughs> but yeah, my, my sweet little, little fella, my little, little kitty boy, he just kind of dipped out when he got sick of me. Still waiting for that apology video, kitty cat. But yeah, so we had a new cat and we were like, well shoot, this cat doesn't know how shit works around here. We're gonna have to put a bell back on Wonder Man because Wonder Man, like he's smart. Sometimes he can't help himself though. After years of living with Disco Kitty, he has learned like, this is my cat. I cannot fuck with this cat. But he still like has this instinct where he's like, ooh, I'm gonna chase it. And then he also has to like, correct himself and be like, no. The bell does just help, uh, give an alert. We also, oh goodness, we have armadillos living in the yard now. Uh, I've never seen them, but I've found their hole. Let's go look at the hole. <laughs> We're gonna stop by my table real quick. Not sponsored. Back to the hole. On our way to the hole, we can uh, witness their destruction. Also, there's like a, a, a butterfly. This kind of stuff, this kind of stuff, all of this kind of shit. That's not the armadillo's fault. All right, we've arrived at the hole. It's hard to capture on camera, but You see, like, getting under the fence that way. It's, it's got like a, a little dip down the other side. I don't, I'm sorry there's not a better way to capture this. Also, there's a cactus. Good boy. So here I am, down in the armadillo hole, living the fucking dream. It's a nightmare. For different reasons, the armadillos are fine. So the armadillo hole is right behind this bottle tower structure. We have two of them. I don't know why there's a hose tied to that one, but I'm gonna guess it's because my boyfriend refuses to throw broken things away. But they are both used for compost. So like there's duty balls in there and there's duty balls in there. <clears throat> Here we can see some more of the destruction from the armadillos. Um, really, it's bizarre to me because this has been going on for quite a while and like Rude. Slow down. A few months earlier this summer, one day I came home from work, right? So I come in the back door that's connected to the kitchen. The kitchen's connected to the laundry room. I'm standing in the doorway from the kitchen and laundry room and I'm taking my clothes off to change, right? And my boyfriend just starts talking to me. And all of a sudden, he turns around and looks on the far side of the kitchen island, and he's like, oh my God, what happened? And I'm like, I don't know. I've, I've been here for a minute and a half, two tops. He looks down and on this floor mat that we've got in the kitchen, 
there is a massive pile of dog barf, like bigger than could reasonably fit in either of our dog's stomachs. And because the overhead light in the kitchen doesn't work, wiring problems, we just, we couldn't really see what it was. So we like picked up the mat, dragged it outside. And what we could see, there was basically like three small dead animals in this pile of vomit. And I couldn't recognize what kind of animal they were, but it was definitely like a three dead baby animals, maybe three and a half. I really didn't want to dig through it that much. It was barf and it was dead animal barf. We d like dumped the shit off of the mat into the fucking fire pit and like burned some trash on top of it to like deter the dogs from like trying to go back and like re-eat the vomited up dead things and we we're like what the fuck could this possibly be this doesn't make sense like we don't have mice anymore and we don't recognize what kind of small little baby animals these are and about a week later i went upstairs to take a shower and shit was cool right I get out of the shower, and as I'm walking downstairs, I step in a pile of fucking vomit that also contained a dead baby animal. I wasn't lying when I said I was living a nightmare. I am. So, after a couple of months, when I started really noticing all the digging up in the backyard, I was like, okay, we there's something going on here. We have animals of some sort, and that's gotta be what Wonder Man because there's no way fucking Bubbles ate that shit. She's not quick enough. She's a lumbering goofball. So it had to have been Wonder Man. <gasps> My only son. Julian decides that it has to be armadillos. I didn't have a better idea, so I trusted him on that one. And then we found the armadillo hole. And I mean, it might not be armadillos, but we found the hole. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do about that. But, you know, something interesting is that last weekend I was pulling weeds in like the far... I'm really getting fucking sick of people driving up and down my goddamn street all day. Ever since Farmer Will sold the ranch, it's just traffic all fucking day long. And that would be fine, I guess, but it's a fucking dirt road. So that dust just fucking flies straight at me if you can't tell the wind is blowing. Anyway, last weekend, pulling weeds in the far corner of the property, behind the dilapidated shed. And I found a different critter hole. I don't know what to make of it. Since we're looking at holes, let's go look at that one too. Look at that motherfucker. This looks like it used to be an ant mound. Right? Because there's the holes. And if I poke at them, no ants come out. I hope I don't bother an animal if it lives in here. But I don't think it's been used in a while. And I, that, my only guess is, well, and I could be completely wrong because I don't know shit about shit. Like, if it is the same critter that lives in the other holes, <laughs> the, like, area around here is not dug up. I don't know, man. I was over there the other day. Big chillin' over there in that motherfucker. Trying to find a lost frisbee. As you do. And, um, yeah, I reached for something that looked like a deflated, destroyed, stuffed animal. And I nearly stuck my fucking face in it before I realized it was a curled up snake. Take a little nap. Some people would be like, oh, what kind of snake was it? No, I got the fuck out of there. I didn't want to find out. Best case scenario, it's a fucking hog nose. But Lord, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's a snake or get away from him. We got rattlers out here, motherfucker. Mm -mm. Oh, let's go say hi to the horsies. They're on the other side of the house today. Look at these unfriendly motherfuckers. Moo! Moo! All right, well, fuck them. I'm realizing uh, that I don't really want to hang out in the wind. <laughs> 
and the sun's uh, starting to like really come out through the clouds and it's pretty warm which I'm a fan of but uh, I also don't really want to be hanging out outside when my boyfriend gets home from kayaking that motherfucker told me he was gonna take me kayaking yesterday and then I was like hey so are we gonna go kayaking he was like no you said you didn't want to go kayaking because you wanted to sleep in and I was like no I said I didn't want to go pick up groceries on Saturday morning because I wanted to sleep in I've been wanting to go kayaking with you for the last two and a half years and you've blown me off every time you've said you're gonna take me kayaking he got so fucking mad that he um kind of just like paced around ranting and yelling and saying go ahead and have a mental breakdown, which I didn't. I kind of just sat down on the sidewalk and stayed there being sad. And he uh, just uh, decided to leave the house. This is the thing is like, when I talk to my therapist about shit like this, she's like, so, okay, when you're having these arguments, and I'm like, no, 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 let the fucking record show. These are not arguments. I'm not saying shit, dude. This is him doing this weird shit all on his fucking own accord, and I'm just sitting there, confused, hurt, and sometimes crying. Like, this isn't an argument, this isn't a disagreement, this isn't a fucking misunderstanding. This is my boyfriend being fucking wax pen wasted 100% of his life, and not really giving a shit about me, is what it is. My life is a disaster. Yeah, so I don't really want to be outside with the dogs when he gets home. Um, one, because he'll get upset that the dogs are gonna mob his car and try and like run outside the gate when he pulls through. And two, cause like, I really don't feel like fucking talking to him. Sorry for getting so aggro here at the end. I wanna thank you for listening. I feel like forgiveness.